Hi and welcome to video number six in SolarAd Professor. In this video, what we're going to cover are the best sales funnels to use when using SolarAds. And what I've done is I've put together lots of different sales funnels in the form of a mind map so you can see exactly how you need to lay your sales funnels your sales funnels out for maximum profits. Now your sales funnels are very important when it comes to solo ads because this is how you're going to make the maximum amount of money back from each solo ad because as I've said to you so far as I've said to you in the course a few times already you need to really focus on making your money back as soon as you possibly can when it comes to pay traffic and especially solo ads so I've got lots of different mind maps that I've put together they go from very basic ones all the way up to the exact type of sales funnel that you need to be working towards building and we're going to get to that towards the end of the video but the first mind map we're going to go through is called the affiliate sales funnel so let's go over there now okay as you can see very basic type of sales funnel now all of these sales funnels that I'm now about to show you can be used with any traffic methods but so, uh, these do work very well with solo ads so you can use these when you buy solo ads or you can use these uh, when you you know use free traffic other forms of paid traffic they work well for anything but if you do buy solo ads and I hope you do because this is obviously the reason why you're going through this course then these sales funnels are going to be very important for you to know um, so let's go through these right now so this is the very first sales funnel that we're going to cover and this is called the affiliate funnel so all you've got is a squeeze page you've got your affiliate offer and then you make money okay that that's if they buy you send traffic to your squeeze page from your solo ads if they don't buy they go into your autoresponder and you follow up with those subscribers until either they do buy your affiliate product or you present some other type of offer to them and you make money from them so this is very basic this is how a lot of people start out this is how I started out so don't think that this doesn't work because it does but you obviously are going to be um, you are going to benefit a lot more if you've got your own product that you sell but this is certainly a start this is better than just going out there and driving traffic direct to a sales page because you're still building a list and you're still building some form of a system that yeah you know you're building your email list so this is definitely a start and this is what I would recommend for you to do if you're just starting out yeah get a squeeze page find an affiliate offer remember what I said something that's gonna be highly relevant and related to your free gift that you give away in your squeeze page and then if they buy your affiliate offer you make money if they don't they go into your autoresponder and then you can follow up with them over time uh, to make more profits and get your money back that you've purchased on your traffic you know your solo ads let's go to the next sales funnel this is a little bit more advanced this one is called the newbie funnel and you need your own product to use this funnel because you're going to have your front end product and this is the sales funnel that I used a couple of years back uh, well I say a couple of years back it depends when you're actually watching this course but when I first created my very first uh, downloadable product it was uh, about 2011 then this is the actual sales funnel that I start to use when I sold that product and it works fine it works absolutely fine you can make some good money and you can certainly make your solo ads quite profitable if you make quite a few sales I actually sold my front end product for five dollars and sometimes I made ten sales from a fifty dollar or forty dollar solo ad so I made five or ten dollars you know profit and all you need is a one simple front end product yeah when you send people to your squeeze page they can buy it and if they do then you send people to your buyers list and this is what you need to focus on yeah you need to focus on building your buyers list your customer list so if they buy your product you send them to your buyers list 
and then you follow up with those customers over time if they don't buy your front end product you know your main product that you sell then you send them to your autoresponder and again follow up with those subscribers until they do buy but now that you've got a product okay you can constantly sell that product in your follow-up sequence but just make sure that you segment your lists because as soon as someone buys you want to be putting them on your customer list don't keep sending them the same emails or don't keep trying to sell them your products if they've already purchased it okay because they will just unsubscribe and get really fed up so you need to segment your list this is why you hear people telling you to segment your list you need to take them off one list and put them on a different list if they've purchased that product it's really simple to do with a new autoresponder so this is the newbie funnel and this is what you need to really start to focus on as soon as you possibly can because this is where you're going to quickly see your profits rise um, increase and this is how you can make some nice money back when you buy seller ads not to say that you can't make money back by just being an affiliate but this gives you more options if you own your own product the next funnel we're going to look at is called the marketers funnel as you can see it starts to get a bit more advanced now we've got our squeeze page if they purchase your front end product again this is going to be your own product say if you sell it for seventeen dollars we've got that product there if they do buy your product they go through and this time you present an upsell so you've now got two products so once you've got a product into your sales funnel yeah over a few weeks or a couple of months you know whenever you feel confident enough create another product which is going to complement the first one and then you sell that as an upsell yeah and an upsell is going to be a slightly more expensive product than the, than the first one so you present that there if they purchase that then they get sent to buyers list number two and buyers list number two means that they've uh, been taken off your buyers list number one yeah because they've purchased your first product and your second product so whatever you do make sure that you take them off your other buyers list yeah for your main product because uh, otherwise they will keep getting your emails uh, with you trying to sell them your $37 product. Now I'm not saying use these price points but these are just like for an example. So make sure if they buy your front end product okay and they don't buy your upsell of $37 by all means leave them on your buyers list number one. If they also purchase your $37 product your upsell then make sure you take them off buyers list number one and put them on buyers list number two. So this is uh, really important and again if they don't purchase any of your products then you can follow up with them and then email them you know over the next week or so and they may end up buying your product yeah and then they um, buy your $17 product then go through to your upsell and the process continues so this is the marketers funnel and this is when you can start to make some nice money back from your solo ads it wasn't until this kind of point when um, well this wasn't until I started to make some nice money back I bought some solo ads and this is when I made uh, 40 50 sometimes 60 plus dollars profit within the first 24 hours for my solo ads because I had a good little funnel in place like this um, but we're gonna get a bit more uh, more advanced from this one the next one after this is called the expert marketers funnel Now this one, as you can probably see, is a lot more advanced. But don't worry if you think that you can't create something like this because you can. The only difference to the ex uh, to this funnel and the last one that I showed you, which was just the marketers funnel, is we've included a downsell into this complete uh, process. So we've got a seventeen dollar product. Yeah, that you sell as your main product we've got an upsell of $37 and then we've got a downsell and one of the things that starts to make me some nice money and made my solo ads even more profitable was I included a $1 membership or some type of a membership or recurring product into my uh, sales funnel 
and you know it can be your own or you can just be an affiliate being an affiliate for something like this works absolutely fine because this is further into your sales funnel okay um, so it doesn't matter if you're an affiliate or it doesn't matter quite so much if you're just an affiliate for your membership products that you sell in your sales funnels because by the time they get to this product they would have already purchased some of your other products okay most of the time so you'd have still made some nice money from them and then they get to this stage and then if they if they sign up here then obviously this is just like a bonus because you can build a nice recurring income um, and this is the expert marketers funnel so you've got a seventeen dollar product that you sell you've got an upsell and then if they buy that you you um, present a membership recurring product on the next page which a lot of the time can be a one dollar trial something like that a seventeen dollar or twenty seven dollar per month uh, and a lot of the time you'll get fifty or seventy five percent of that and again it, it works exactly the same if they don't purchase any of your products then you they just go through and then you've got a chance to then present your offers again within the follow-up sequence and then if they purchase your seventeen dollar product within a few days yes then you can present them with the upsell so it works exactly the same it just means that they're coming from your email follow-up sequence as opposed to buying straight away when they come through from the seller ad and again if they buy your upsell they can see your downsell after that and this is the expert marketers funnel and this is the stage which things really start to get bigger okay and you can really start to make some nice profits from your solo ads that you purchase so that is the expert marketers funnel and let's go on to the next one which is the very last one which is called the guru funnel now I've called it the guru funnel but don't think that you need to be a guru to create this type of sales funnel because you don't if you break things down step by step it is actually quite simple it may look quite complex from a glance because there's arrows everywhere there's lots of boxes everywhere but seriously um, if you go back to the last mind map the expert marketers funnel uh, or even just the marketers funnel okay when you've got a main product and an upsell the difference with this particular type of funnel is you've got some extra upsells and uh, and you've got an extra downsell okay if they don't purchase your seventeen dollar product you know your your main product that you sell there that's the only difference and um, and I'll take you through that and I'll show you how it works so if you remember you've got your main product here which you say sell for seventeen dollars it could be nine ninety five it could be ten or seven dollars you know, entirely up to you but I've just used an example of seventeen dollars if they don't purchase if you buy a seller ad and you send traffic to your squeeze page they opt in and they see your main sales page and they don't purchase your main product for whatever you charge then one of the things that I've recently started to do um, or I say recently it was a while back now but it works really really well is I present a downsell with a 50% off downsell because you're better off making three or four dollars or five or six dollars from somebody than nothing at all because remember when you buy traffic you need to try and make back the money as fast as you possibly can yeah and obviously this is how you market this is obviously um, how you how you present offers uh, to people when they come through and this is the power of a good sales funnel so if they click no you can uh, you can either create some type of an exit exit de uh, exit redirect on your sales page so when they click the cross on your sales page they get directed to a 50% off page or uh, you can do things a different way um, you can create other types of um, exit offers and stuff but uh, but the thing to be can uh, uh, the thing to take away is you need some type of a page where you have a 50% off downsell I've sometimes got a link at the bottom of my sales page where it says no thanks just give me my free information or something like that and then you can send them to your 50% off downsell but I tend not to do that too much I generally just use exit redirect links within my sales page uh, which I set up within Optimize Press, and you can do this with any software. Um, I redirect them 
if they just want to click away from the page and I've just got like a basic 50% off down sell and then they could uh, purchase that for say seven dollars if your main product is 17 that's going to be like eight dollars fifty so depending how much you sell your main product for initially that will then obviously depend on the price that you charge on the 50% off down sell so hopefully you're still with me this is the first bit and this works really well because this can really help you to squeeze out more profits if they um, don't buy your down sell yet and they click no then what you do you got another chance of making some money from them and this time you send them to your one dollar down sell so this is like a zero risk I mean a one dollar membership trial is is a is the lowest risk someone could you know ever sort of take because you know one dollar most people can can afford a one dollar trial and if they click no again then they go to your autoresponder and then you follow up with them until they do purchase one of your products now if we go back if they click yes to any of these you do send them through a different process okay if we go back to your main sales page if they do actually buy that yeah they're going to go down the same process as what I showed you in some of the last mind maps yeah you then present them an upsell if they buy that you then present them another upsell this is the difference between this guru funnel and this is going to be for something like ninety seven dollars don't forget you must always increase the price whenever you create these uh, your sales funnels unless it's a down sell and obviously that's going to be cheaper upsell to ninety seven dollars if they buy that you can then present a membership down sell okay but obviously um, if they don't purchase any of these and they go the other direction you can still present them a membership um, at a different stage because as I said to you this is going to be a very low risk investment so there's there's two different opportunities here to actually get them to join some type of a recurring product membership site uh, which is the power behind the sales funnel and if they do join your membership site or your if they do join the product um, the membership site that you promote then they get added to either somebody else's list or your own list depending who owns the membership site uh, if they don't then they just get added to buyers list number three yeah for your upsell two list so you've got your main product your second product and your third product so this particular funnel you've got three different products here and you've got your membership script uh, your membership product here which could be your fourth product or it could be an affiliate product like I said it's entirely up to you and then you can follow up with those guys um, and then you send them in to your back end where you can make a lot more money from them and that's going to be uh, a whole a whole new a whole new level that's going to be uh, you know different stuff that we do there and let's go back to the start of the mind map again so let's just quickly go through another piece of the SaaS funnel and then this video will be complete so we are at the stage of if they don't purchase your front end product and they go to your 50% down sell if they do buy your down sell for half the price that you originally advertised it for they will get sent down the same process okay they will just go and see your upsell for $37 so it's exactly the same if they went the normal way they would see your upsell if they went and purchased your downsell yeah with a discount they would still see your upsell so there's no different there okay this is just giving people um, another opportunity to actually buy your product which is important when you buy th things like solo ads it's important for you to try and make back as much money as you can obviously if they don't then you can present your one dollar membership and if they do buy your membership they get added to your membership site and uh, as I said at the start of the video if they don't they then get sent to your autoresponder where you can follow up with those guys and hopefully they will buy your product over the next few days and that is the guru funnel okay once you break things down it's really not that difficult yet with all these boxes and everything um, it may look a lot more complex than you think at first because you know you got arrows everywhere boxes everywhere but the reason why I've got so many boxes is I've tried to lay it out 
and explain every step of the way I could have left quite a few of these boxes off but I wanted this to kind of um, really make sense so you know exactly what every stage means and that's why I've put you know so many boxes and so many arrows and everything so you know by all means you can study this mind map for as long as you need to you can sit there um, and go through everything and go through all of the rest of the mind maps as well until you completely understand what you have to do and which sales funnel you're going to start with yeah this sales funnel in front of you is obviously the most complex of the of all of them that I've shown you but it's not that difficult once you have one or two products that you sell in your business this type of sales funnel is very easy to create because all you then do is expand on what you already have it really is that simple so don't think you can't create something like this because you can so that is the uh, video this is video number six where we went through the best types of sales funnels to use when using solo ads and this applies to any traffic method this isn't just solo ads but it's important that you have these sales funnels in place when you use things like solo ads so you can recoup your investment as soon as you possibly can to pay for your advertisement so we've got the newbie funnel we've got the um, you know the affiliate newbie funnel the normal newbie funnel the marketers funnel expert marketers funnel and the guru funnel so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope um, you can get a ton of benefit by going through all of these sales funnels and you can now kind of see where you fit in and you can you can start from there even if it's at the very start the affiliate newbie funnel that's fine you have to start somewhere these mind maps um, will be uh, you know you'll be able to download these and, and, and keep these on your hard drive so you can go through them anytime you want so that is the end of video number six I will see you again in the next one which will be video number seven take care